Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Good Grace. morning, teacher. Well, my dears, it's time to... Oh, good start. morning, teacher. Good morning. Welcome to a new English class. And today we're going to start, listen, period number four. The last period of the year. Period number four. As everybody knows, this is the shortest, the shortest period in the year. So, my dears, it is important that you um, continue practicing English, continue um, uh, participating in our English classes in order you can improve your English language. Well, I'm going to share with you my screen once more because it is important that you, um, let me see, watch my presentation and to follow step by step what we're gonna do. Okay, here we have, this is our English class presentation. What about the agenda? The agenda we're gonna uh, develop today is this. Everybody knows the steps. We have seven steps. In number one, it's welcome. Let me tell you that I'm very happy to be here with you again. It's nice to see you again, Grace. <laughs> and to know about the students who are at home too. And we have number two, the social emotional content. For the social emotional content, we're gonna play, we're gonna play a game, a short game in which you're gonna participate. Read the content for this class, the reflection, the objective, class development. To our class development, I need your participation too. And at last, questions and answers. Well, it's time to continue with our game. This is a short game we're gonna play. Follow the instructions in order you can understand what you have to do. This is a top five quiz. Okay, there are 10 questions, but we're gonna answer just five questions for the time. We don't have enough time to play this. Well, listen, uh, we have in here the instruction. And the instruction says that you have to mention, to mention a word. If the word you mention is in the top five, you're going to win points. Uh, for example, if you say um, eraser, for example, and if eraser is in the category uh, number five, you're going to win two points. If eraser is in the, in the first top of this, you're going to win 10 points. In this way, we're going to play this. Let's start. You have a short time to answer. Number one, name a fruit. Okay. Uh, 
mango is in number five, and then we have orange, fish, banana, and the top one is apple. <laughs> but a melon is not there. If you think in apple, you win 10 points. Second. Elephant, you said. Gray said elephant. Monkey. Elephant or monkey? Monkey. Monkey is in the last stop. Elephant. <laughs> okay, elephant. you said elephant. Okay. Elephant is in the top three. And lion is in the first stop. If you say lion, you win 10 points. Name a delicious food. Pizza. Pizza, you said. Okay, you said sushi. Uh -huh. Pizza. Or oh, bunger, a uh, bunger. Hamburger. <laughs> eso, eso. Pizza is in four. Three hamburger, chicken, and steak is in number one. A stick or meat? A stick or meat? Something blue. Mention something blue. The ocean. The sky. The sky. The sky. The sky. The sky. Okay. Color blue. Ocean and, 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 say. and in the top one is the sky. <laughs> yeah, the sky is the top. Ten points. Ten points. Yeah. And the last one. This is the last one because we don't have enough time. Name a room in the house. Kitchen. 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 Okay. Living room. Kitchen or, or room. Living room, you said. Okay. Bedroom. Bedroom. Dining room, is it the last one? Bathroom? Uh, kitchen is in the top three. Bedroom, and in the top one is living room. <laughs> okay. If you, say wow. if you say living room, you win 10 points. Okay, excellent, very good. This was our social emotional content. I showed you. Yo solo gané. Yo creo que solo gané. Nada, no. Nothing. Los 10 puntos de Sky. The point free tree. Ok, perfecto. Yo, yo dije Sky, creo que también. Pizza, pizza. Ah, pizza. pizza. Uh, ah, Sky and Pizza, ok. You win. Pizza, three points, and, and Sky, ten points. So you, you get 13 points. Yes. Yeah, you have 13 points. That's nice. How many do you have? I believe in. <laughs> 12. 12 points. What about you, Maria Jose? How many points did you get? Yes. 43. Okay, perfect. <laughs> you have a lot of points. Well, what we have here the objective to our class, and it says to understand and use language to develop and connect ideas. This is the content we're going to develop today. Well, I'm going to explain you something about the use of connecting words. These are some examples of connecting words we can use. You can use to connect ideas in a text, in a sentence, etc. If you want to add something else, or if you want to add more information in a sentence, you're gonna use connecting words. These are some examples. We have and, when you say, I'm happy and excited. I'm happy and amazing. We are connecting words we are connecting the sentences finally 
Ajá. And como y. And, no, and y. Ajá. And y. And, for example, when you say, I like to eat pizza and hamburger. No, pero yo me refiero a que en vez de que lleve la A, lleve la E. Ah, de, de final, dices tú. Ah, oh, no, the end. No, no, no. It's not the end. 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 Ajá, uh -huh. not the end. <laughs> okay, the next example. I'm happy for your achievement. I'm happy for your success. I'm happy for your excellent scores in the English exams. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. You get excellent scores in the English exam. I'm happy, but nervous at the same time. I'm happy when it's sunny. I'm happy when it is cloudy or when it is raining. I'm happy despite the rain. I'm happy because it's Friday. Or you can say, I'm happy because, because it's Tuesday or something like that. In the last one, I am happy even though I'm tired. These are called connecting words. Don't forget this. I have more connecting words in the next presentation. These are the words you can use. Remember, you can use to connect different ideas in a sentence or in a paragraph. And, but, if, then, when as well as although while after in addition to etc these are called connecting words an equation no grace no <laughs> well we're going to continue with our class development please everyone open your a student's book page number 72. A student's book page number 72. And also you're gonna open your student's resource book page number 55. Yeah, page number 55 in your um a student's resource book. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. You're fast. <laughs> You're fast because you have the materials need of you. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Hi. Okay. Sí. <laughs> well, this is the page in our students' book, and as you can see in the second activity, we're gonna need our students' resource book to complete the exercise. Uh, well, connecting words, what you're going to do in the first exercise, pay attention to the instruction and read it at the same time. Read and answer the questions with a classmate. Um, this is a short information we have here. Who wants to read me this text? A volunteer to read me the text? Sophie. Okay, Sophie, go ahead. This week, we have pressured two letters from readers about the proposed development of the park. On March Road, me is from Mark Perry, a retired doctor who lives on a road. The other, the other is from Rachel, wrote a 16-year-old skateboarder. Okay, thank you, Sophie. Excellent. Well, this is a short introduction about what you're gonna do. And we have two questions you're gonna answer. Um, number one says, what do you think are Mark and Rachel's opinion 
about the skate park project. And the second is, what reasons do you think Mark and Rachel give to support their arguments? In order to know the answers, we're gonna complete this activity. And it says, put out, for that reason I said, you're gonna need your student's resource book why? Because you're going to put out the strips and write M, that is for Mark, or R, that is for Rachel, then attach the strips in order. Rachel's letter and Mark's letter. I'm going to give you time in order you can cut the strips, then we're going to glue them in the Responding spaces. Please, everyone, start cutting out your strips. Go ahead. Yeah. You have to cut all the sentences you have there. Why? Because you're going to need them to complete this activity. And some of them are for Rachel's letter, and the others are for Mark's letter. Continue working, please. Then I'm going to help you. Let me know when you finish to put out your strips. Finish. Okay. You have ready your strips. Excellent. These are the sentences. Well, um, wait me a second. Listen, I'm going to show you this in order you can um, observe it. We have here, right? on this space, what is the sentence that you're gonna glue here in the first space? Well, listen. On this presentation, we have the um, first of all, there aren't enough places in our neighborhood where kids can play furthermore skateboarding in a great way for us to have fun. This is the first one you need to complete. Let me show you this. That you need for Rachel's letter. Rachel's letter. You're going to glue this sentence or this description here. In the first space we have here for Rachel's letter. Okay? Do it. Here.
Well, I'm writing the letters that correspond to each one. Okay, what is the number one for Rachel? What is the second one? What do you think is the second you need to include here? What is the second for Rachel's letter? Fierce of all there aren't enough places in our neighborhood where kids can play. For tomorrow, skateboarding is a great way for us to have fun. Okay, this is, Maria Jose, this one is the first. Is the first. You have to glue this one in the first space we have here, right? What is the second that we need here on this space? What is the second? First of all, there aren't any places in your neighborhood where kids can play here more. Skateboarding is a great way for you to have fun. Well, listen, this was the first one. You have to glue this, the one you mentioned here on this space, in the first space we have here. Well, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna write, um, can you borrow me this please? Wait. Do you have a pencil? Mm -hmm. pencil. I'm gonna help you with this. Uh, let me see, wait me a second. We have a ration. Thank you. Well, I'm gonna help you with this. And I'm gonna change the um, page in this moment. Well, the one you need to complete here is, I'm gonna write the um, sentences here. This is, first at all, first of all, they aren't. Sorry, teacher. The first word is, I love skateboarding and I really want a new skate park when I grow. There are a lot of risks on the street. Listen, Rachel's letter, you have to follow the order. You have to follow the order. First, you have to write first of all, there aren't. enough places okay. and you're gonna continue with this this is the first you have to glue in the space this one right that we have here what is the second What is the next sentence or the next description you needed to glue here in the second uh, space? What is it? These are the um, these are the sentences you have to put. This one. What is the second about ratio? Well, I'm gonna help you. The second is, 
I love skateboarding and I really Identify the sentence and glue in the corresponding space. You have to identify. What is the next one? What is the um, sentence you have to write here or you have to glue in this, in this case? What is it? Someone knows? Participate, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Uh, Maria Jose, do you know what is the sentence you need to glue here on this space? What is the next one? What's this? The class is almost finished. What is the next one? Participate. Sophie? I also think it's a great way of kids to get exercise and get it. Yes, perfect. There is it. I also think it's a great, okay? I'm doing this, why? Because you're gonna identify what is the description you need to complete them, the exercise. And the last one is, what's the last one? What is the last one? Finally, the adults who run or city show remember the interest of joining people. Finally, repeat again, please, Maria Jose. Finally, the adults who run or city show remember the interest of joining people. Yes, Maria Jose, excellent. So my dears, these are the sentences you're gonna put in blue in these spaces. What about Mark's letter? What is the first for Mark's letter? I love, I live on Oakra and I am completely against the purpose of state park. Yes, perfect. The next one. First of all, Okra is a kid neighborhood. Okay. Um, this one is secondary. A uh, skate park are popular most of the children who want this skate park. Do not leave her. And the last one is, sorry, I have the last one. What's the last one? Mm -hmm. 
There finally, is a... uh -huh. I read, I really did. The money showed the scheme of keeping our neighborhood clean and safe. Okay. Listen. In this way, you're going to identify each description to complete the letter. What is the order you need to follow at the moment to write something? You have to start first at all. You're not going to say finally and you are starting writing the, the text. That's incorrect. You're going to say first at all, secondly, and finally or in addition to, while, etc. So, any question? Did you finish the exercise, activity? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, did you finish this activity? Yes, did you? Okay, perfect. Very good. Okay, my dears, if you don't have any question to ask me about this activity, I'm going to make a review. Remember, Remember, this is very important for you. At the moment, you start writing a letter, writing a paragraph, or saying something, you're gonna start first of all, and you're gonna continue with the description. Um, then, secondly, and finally, but you're gonna say, teacher, and the first one, Mark's letter, for Mark's letter, um, second is first at all. Yes, why? Because he started with a short introduction. I live on road, and he continue with the he continues with the description. Then he said, first of all, all road. There is missing something here, and you didn't tell me. <laughs> there is a mistake here in the sentence. Is missing the letter A. Secondly, and finally. So, this is um, all for this English class. If you want to ask me any question, do it in this moment. Any question? No questions? Is it clear? No questions. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... No questions? No. No questions. Well, I'm gonna erase this because it's time to say the class is finished. Sophie, do you want to tell me something before to leave the meeting? No. <laughs> okay, you forgot to load your hand. The class is finished, my dears. Have a nice afternoon. Have a good meal and see you tomorrow with more activities. So, bye-bye. See you. Take care.